welcome to the Beneath the Dirt podcast. I'm your host, Rome Bone. Thank you for tuning in. Episode 89. We are nearing the end of June. A bunch of new music releases. A little bit of news this week. Still relatively slow. Mainly because of what everything's going on. I hope everybody's staying safe out there. Taking their necessary precautions to do what they gotta do. But if you ain't checked it out, go check out my CD collection, June 2020 edition. This is the third CD collection I've dropped in like, I think about a month now. I did two last month, dropped another one just this, or just last week. I'm Roll Bone and I'm addicted to buying fucking CDs. So much love to everybody that's already tuned into that. It's up on YouTube right now. Showing likes, comments, all that shit. I love doing the CD collections because I love my CD collection. Can't stop buying the shits. Yeah, much love to everybody that's checked it out. On to new music and news. We got brand new Jaron Benton again. He just dropped some shit last week. And I was talking shit about Swizz, formerly of Funk Volume, saying... This dude never drops anything, and who gives a fuck if he does drop anything? Lo and behold, Jaron Benton drops a brand new track called Savage in the Sanctuary featuring Swizz. This track is fire. Swizz's versus fire. All that shit talking I did last week is what it is. (laughs) Um, This dude, all right, I keep calling for new Jaron Benton. We need new Jaron Benton, whatever. He keeps dropping these singles on us. I don't know if this is part of an album EP he got coming up. This is what artists be doing, dropping singles, and then drop an album with all these singles. Savage in the Sanctuary, Fire Beat, Fire Verses from Jaron Benton and Swizz. I don't know if Jaron Benton's like doing the singing on this hook and on previous songs that he's doing, but the hook on here is fire. Let us get some new... Shit from Jaron Benton. Goddamn, this shit is really good. And the feature from Swizz, like I said, really dope. Even though I'm not the biggest Swizz fan. I, you know, last week I was just talking shit. And he, lo and behold, drops a fucking verse and it's fire for this week. Ouija Mac, the little fucking psychopathic monster, the gremlin. I don't know what the fuck he calls himself these days. But Ouija Mac, the busiest dude on Psychopathic, if he is in fact still on Psychopathic, posted up this image. He was high as fuck overthinking this project, so we decided to stop that bullshit and post this picture of him high as fuck overthinking the project. Pretty Ugly drops July 17th. Pretty Ugly, the brand new project. Mixtape from Ouija Mac, July 17th. We just got Resistance 2, Hell's Hollow tape last month. He's going to drop another project next month. He did some shit with Star Fox LaFlair like two months ago as well. Ouija Mac. Busy as fuck. Staying fucking consistent. I'm looking forward to this pretty ugly project. Resistance 2 is hard as fuck. I'm hoping the audio is still consistent like Hell's Hollow Tape was. And Ouija Mac killing it out here. Staying busy. Stay grinding. Love it. Love seeing it. You know, they were supposed to be out on tour. He was supposed to be out on tour with ICP right now. The Wicked Clowns from Outer Space Part 2 tour. That shit got canceled. I don't know if they've canceled the fall tour yet, but I'm expecting that shit to get canceled anytime. Same with the Tech 9 tour. Tours ain't happening for 2020, unfortunately. And then we got Griselda nominated by BET for the 2020 BET Awards for Best Rap Group, Best Group, sorry, Benny the Butcher, Conway the Machine, West Side Gun, nominated for the BET Awards for Best Group. This is dope. This is a great look for these dudes. They highly deserve it. Will they win? Probably not because these award shows don't really show love to real shit like this. But shout out to West Side Conway, Benny, for getting this nomination on the BET Awards. Very dope. These dudes definitely deserve it, like I said. The What Would Sheen Gun Do project still gets regular rotation. 
You know what I mean? Scotty's fire. Love that track. But yeah, wanted to touch on that real quick. I'm still waiting for new Benny the Butcher. It's I record this on Sunday. This is June 21st. It's been a year ago since he dropped the plugs I met. And he hasn't dropped a solo project since. Conway's dropped like three solo projects just this year, 2020, with another one coming up soon. Uh, Two more coming up, supposedly, if his album on Shady Records does drop this year, which I hope it does. And West Side Gun has dropped a couple this year as well. Where the fuck is Benny? I know he's working on that BSF compilation. He just signed his deal with E1. But damn, we need new Benny the Butcher. And happy birthday to the plugs I met. Hard as fuck. Love that project. And then Strange Music, ever since this whole COVID shit went down, Strange Music has been relatively quiet releasing music. I know Burns released some shit, Recognized dropped some shit, and he dropped some new shit we'll talk about in a second. But we finally get Phase 3 of May's 301 Hassan Project. Part 2 dropped a few months ago, and I think by now the album probably should have dropped, but because of everything that's gone down, kind of put a pause on everything, but Phase 3... Of Hassan from May's 301 drop. Recognized drops Pressure Point. Part 2. This past Friday he dropped that Meridian 2. I apologize. Had to bring up the graphics so I could see it. So Recognized dropped Part 2 to his album. This past Friday. So two new Strange Music projects. Dropped this past Friday. In Strange Music terms. A slow week For strange music. Sometimes they got four or five shits dropping in one week. But this week they had two. So it's good to see them get back in the swing of things. And then Tech 9 had a new single. He was featured on Dax's new uh, single. Called Fast Faster. And I haven't got a chance to listen to this yet. Not really a fan of Dax. I'm not really even familiar with Dax to be honest. Uh, But I haven't checked out this single like I said. But Tech 9 is on this new single with Dax. And that's out there on all DSPs if you want to go check that shit out. And speaking of Tech 9 Tech 9s single, Worldwide Choppers, went officially platinum, RIAA, certified platinum. You remember this single from all sixes and sevens. One of the best Tech 9 albums That he's ever done. I can make an argument that All Sixes and Sevens. Is his best album. Not necessarily my favorite. But probably. Definitely top five for sure. Without a doubt. But this dropped May 31st. 2011. Just over nine years later. The shit went platinum. I don't give a fuck. If it takes nine years like it did. I mean. Tech nine. Nine years. It makes sense. Everybody was featured on Worldwide Choppers. You had Yellow Wolf, Buster Rhymes, Twista, Twisted Insane. JL of B-Hood was on there. Who else was on that bitch? Some overseas dudes that weren't even fucking speaking English were on there. Very dope. Probably the best Chopper track out of all the Chopper tracks. You had Midwest Choppers 1, 2, Worldwide Choppers, and then you had... Whatever the fuck Choppers was with Eminem. And that was the weakest one out of all of them. Minus Chris Calico's verse. Because he absolutely murdered that shit. But Tech 9 Still killing it. Staying on top. Not a big fan of his newest album. Um, that he just dropped. But Nina last year was fucking amazing. I used Tech 9 as the graphic this week. As well for the show. Just to show love for going platinum on Worldwide Choppers. Very dope, very fresh. Shout out to Tech 9 and everybody that was featured on Worldwide Choppers. Such a fucking classic track. Hard as fuck. Even the dudes from other countries, I think there was like Germany or some shit. I don't even know. But they were all spitting that fire, even if I couldn't understand it. Such a dope track. And then we got brand new Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde dropped a new single featuring Sherry Rain, I believe is his wife. Song is called Darkness. Sherry Rain on the hook. Very dope. Mr. Hyde killing it with the bars. Love the beat. Don't know who did the beat. 
but this is that classic in your face kind of dark wicked shit from Mr. Hyde. I don't know. Mr. Hyde be spitting that wicked shit. Call it gore hop. Call it whatever the fuck you want. Acid rap horrorcore. But Mr. Hyde brought it with this track. So did Sherry Rain on the hook. Very dope. Very fucking love this track. I just bumped it for a few, gave it a few spins before I started recording this show. And uh, yeah, I was curious to see how he usually doesn't have singing hooks like this. And it was dope to hear a little bit of a switch up from Mr. Hyde because of a lot of his shit can get monotonous at times. Um, I've come to appreciate Mr. Hyde's music a lot more over the years. Barn of the Naked Dead, 04. Like, such a dope album. That whole psychological run in 04 was fucking phenomenal. What's Wrong with Bill? Prefix of Death. Subocalypse. The Art of Dying. Barn of the Naked Dead, like I said. They even had the Circle of Tyrants. It dropped early 05, but still kind of consider it part of that 04 run. Like... Mr. Hyde's that dude. Killed it on this track. Very dope. So go peep that. That's available everywhere if you ain't checked it yet. Not new music, but a little bit of news from a la Zuli Lu and Ritz. Ritz posted up a fucking caption saying, Hey, any of you rappers want a feature, hit me up at this email. He posted his email. He said he recorded features for the following groups, you can see it right there on the screen if you're watching on YouTube. And if you look, you see a la Zuli Lu. So will Ritz be on the new a la Zuli Lu album? It's fucking looking like it. I don't think we have a title for the new Zul album still. Other than it's coming out this fall, I believe, later this year. Hyped for new a la Zuli Lu, the last project, Church of Zul, the EP was fire. The Almighty, one of the best releases Magic Ninja has put out yet to this day. I'm hyped for it. I'm curious to hear how Ritz is going to sound with Ala Zuli Lu because Zul is just, it, they just emphasize and they're the epitome of the wicked shit, horrorcore. And Ritz is not that. Ritz is just a fast ass rapping dude, kind of introspective you know, take on himself when he's rapping and doesn't, I, I've, I, I'm trying to think of shit that he could have sounded like you spit wicked shit, but nah, maybe Zul got it out of him. Maybe Zul got him spitting some wicked shit or maybe they just got him doing a hook because Ritz be killing them hooks as well. But I'm looking forward to this feature. Ritz is dope. Ritz is one of the illest artists to ever be on strange music as well. I know he's no longer on strange, He's one of the best artists to ever come out of Strange. And one of my favorite artists that I've found in the last probably fucking close to 10 years. Because when did White Jesus come out? That was, that was a while ago. But yeah, Ritz and Ala Zuli Lu. Mm. Interesting. Interesting combination. And I look forward to hearing it. Keeping it with the horrorcore, wicked shit, scum. Drop not one, but two new tracks. We got Tales from the Freezer and Captain. I'm not a big fan of Scum. Is what it is. You probably know that by now. But he gets a lot of love. LSP gets a lot of love. I like to show love to LSP and Scum. Those dudes grind their fucking asses off. So he got two new tracks. Apparently he's got a double album coming out. I don't remember the last time somebody put out a double album, like double disc. It's been a minute, but he's got a double album coming out and the two singles he's got Captain Tales from the Freezer. Also Smalls one of LSP. She got her new shit dropping soon. I don't have a graphic for it. I don't think I've talked about it on the show yet, but she got a new project dropping soon. Um, It's Smalls one is I for, you know, she ain't bad. She holds her own amongst those LSP dudes. And the few features that I've heard from her have been actually pretty dope. I love her feature on Mulatto on Liquid Assassin's album, Fire. Love that track. That's over a Sea Lance beat, too. She killed that shit. But she got a new project coming. Scum with the double album. 
Class and Hex Rated of LSP. They're dropping uh, Violence Volume 1, uh, July 12th, I believe. July 10th, 12th. Can't remember off the top of my head, but I know that they're dropping soon. Look forward to that. <laughs> then let's go to Magic Ninja. Probably the biggest release of this week was Lex the Hex Master and Party Castle, Episode 1. It actually dropped on Tuesday. I thought it was dropping on Friday, so my I had misinformation on last week's podcast. It dropped on Tuesday instead of Friday. But Party Castle, Episode 1 dropped, and we talked about it last week. 80% of this EP was already released before it was, the full thing came out. But the two new tracks that were Previously unreleased last night and back up, both fire. I love the way this EP plays out. Really dope production. Can't remember off the top of my head who did the production, but it's somebody I never heard of before. Every song on this EP is dope. Lex the Hexmaster absolutely brought it and killed it with this Party Castle episode one. This is part one of four, so we got three more coming out. Like we talked about last week, busiest dude on Magic Ninja. Love this EP. The mixing could be a little bit better, but this is the best mix Ritz, or not Ritz, Fritz the Cat has put out probably since fucking Mirror Mirror. His mixes are just not good, and I don't know why Lex continues to go with Fritz. But this is the best sounding mixes Fritz has put out in a while. So... The mix doesn't take away from the music on this EP. If you're on the fence with Lex the Hexmaster, check this shit out. Very fire. Much better than Strictly for My Ninjas. I like every song on here. All these songs sound better than anything that was on Beyond Redemption, mix-wise. And only one feature from HB the Grizzly. She was singing her ass off on that Sleep at Night song. Yeah, peep this EP if you ain't peeped it yet. Lex the Axe Master brought it. I even seen dudes on Twitter who have made it clear that they're not huge fans of Lex the Axe Master give props to this EP. So this is a dope project from him. And I'm looking forward to the next three parts. I'm just hoping that they don't release 75% of the, you know, the next three EPs before each EP that drops. So yeah, New Lex the Hex Master, Party Castle, Episode 1, Party Music. Yeah, nothing too deep or crazy on that. And then Monoxide did a live stream some point last week. I saw Joker's Gallery post about it. So got to give props where props are due. I saw it from him first. Apparently, Monoxide said on the live stream, Blaze Your Dead Homie got about 12 songs for his next album. He's going to record two more, and then they're going to mix and master it. So it looks like we're going to get a new album from Blaze soon, and it's going to be on the shorter side, 12 tracks possibly. I like that. I fuck with that. I like the shorter albums. I remember when everybody was doing the longer albums. Some people still are. Tech Nine... You know, loves pumping out those 22-track albums. I prefer, I've come to prefer shorter albums because it's just a lot easier to make a, uh, what's the fucking word? Cohesive project with 12 tracks. It's a lot harder to fuck up, in other words. It's been, what, four years since Blaze Day Homie dropped Casket Factory. Let me pull it up real quick. But yeah, Blaze Day Homie. He does stay busy with Um He did Triple Threat. He did the new Drive By. He did the new Riders. He was heavily featured on the new Riders. He did drop a few new singles last year. Uh he did drop that Greatest Mediocres in Mitch Murder Mayhem Mitch's words. Uh, he did drop that. It's been four years since Casket Factory dropped 
It looks like maybe 2020 we'll be getting new shit from Blazy Dale, homie. I don't know how I feel about it, to be quite honest. I don't know. The singles that he did drop last year were decent. Um, yeah, no crazy take on it. I'll support it. I'm a fucking fan of Blaze Your Dead Homie. One Last G in the Hood is a classic. The EP, Clockwork Gray, still to this day is one of the best albums Psychopathic ever put out. Production-wise, and just as a whole. I love the production on Clockwork Gray. That shit is stupid hard. And Blaze went fucking in on that album. So possibly new Blaze Dead Homie. Go peep that new Lex the Hexmaster if you ain't peeped it yet. Relatively snow slow news week. Now that's gonna wrap it up for this week. Definitely go peep that new Lex the Hexmaster Party Castle episode one though. That shit is really good. The new Mr. Hyde singles fucking fire. Uh, that new Jaren Ben. Let's get a new Jaren Ben album for sure. Ouija dropping July 17th. Fucking fire. I appreciate everybody that tunes in. Shout out to everybody that hits me up on social medias saying that they look forward to the show. Can't look, you know, can't wait for every Monday. And I'll be back next Monday. Why fucking switch it up now? And I'm Roll Bone of the Beneath the Dirt Podcast. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.